just got myself some brand new golden fluid colors in the mail and I couldn't wait to try them out. So uh, let me show you what I've got and we are going to have some fun today. So this one is Nicolazzo Yellow and it's just kind of a mustard tone of yellow, really pretty. This is the Nicolazzo or the Green Gold. And then this is um, Carbon Black. This one I've got Quinacridone Burnt Orange and it really is just the perfect kind of rust burnt orange color. Love it. And then I did some white and this is actually the um, Titanium White from Golden Fluid. And for all of these golden fluids, all I did was put in the amount of uh, Floetrol that I wanted with a squirt of GAC 800 and a squirt of, um, of Liquitex pouring medium, gloss pouring medium. And then I'm going to say like as many drops as I felt like I needed of the golden fluid. So it was usually around like 10 to 15. This is some leftover Liquitex turquoise blue from a previous pour that I'm just going to throw in there. I think it'll look great. Okay, and then this one is the Golden Fluid Iridescent Copper mixed with some Iridescent Bright Gold. So we've got that. And then this is the Quinacridone uh, Nicolazzo Gold. And then this is also from a previous pour. Let's see, this is Academy Acrylic Sap Green. And I really love that color. So let's get started. Oh, for my base coat, I am using uh, Bare House Paint. It is, let me see what it is. Bare um, 7050 Ultra Pure White House Paint and it's just mixed with water and a little bit of GAC 800 and a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium, just a little. I didn't even put in very much. So, and then all of these I mixed till they were very thin. So we are ready to get started. I am hoping to get two pours out of these paints that I've mixed up. I don't know if I will, but that's what I'm hoping for. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down my white base. And I will say um, the bare house paint I've noticed um, because it's, it comes in a large container. And so it sets a little longer than my other paints. When I um, pour it into here to use, there's a lot of little clumps. And so I have to, I have to end up straining it to get the little clumps out the same way that I do the flow trawl. So just a little tip. It can get a little lumpy. All right, let's lay down our base. Down. I'm just gonna go over it real quick, pop some air bubbles with the torch. And we'll start putting down some color.
these golden fluid acrylics are that I'm super happy with them. Um, they seem much more translucent than other paints that I've worked with. And because of that, you can see like multiple layers of color. Like look at that, the top you see that nickel as a gold, but then underneath you're seeing the sap green and the black. You just see all these layers of color coming through. And then here's the green gold. And then you can just see layer upon layer of color underneath. The same under the um, yellow and the white. The transparency just gives super depth to it. So if you're looking for that, these are fantastic. Now, the reason why I got all these cells is definitely from the house paint as the base layer. And I love how over here it's more like a nice lacing. Everything is just kind of white. And then over here, the color is starting to come through and form cells. And those are really interesting too. And then here we've got these ones that are surrounded by black and then some actual black cells coming through. And just as, as I'm watching, just slowly more and more are starting to develop, but not too many. I, I'm happy that there's not so many that I'm losing the color, which is what I like about the house paint base. I do like some cells and lacing and things like that, but I also want to see the rich color and not let that color get swallowed up. Sometimes that's what I'm looking for and I was definitely looking for that here and I'm super happy with the results. Um, I'll usually kind of touch up the painting afterwards as it's drying but with this I didn't touch it at all. I love it exactly how it is. Um, I love how when I stretched it the black has this huge gray shadow that it left as it mixed with the white when it's stretched. And over here too, I think that's really cool. Nice outline for the whole thing. So I don't know, it almost looks like a topographical map or something. Very cool, I'm loving it. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry. Here we are, all dry and these pearls took over. Wow, so it's they're just huge in the middle and then you get out to the edges and they're just these itty bitty adorable little microscopic ones. Here we'll go over to here and you can see it just looks like tiny little um, pieces of hail almost that's been falling from the sky but then it just gets bigger and and you can just see here the the depth of color these cells look like they're under that rust color which is really cool really interesting and i'm loving this green gold that's kind of an interesting color popping through i really like that um, again i'm loving that dark gray outline that happened when the black mixed with the white as it stretched i love that so this is a really interesting painting and yeah we'll we'll um, let this dry and get a coat of varnish and then I'll show you what that looks like when the varnish is added. Okay you guys this was a golden fluid pour experimenting with my new paints and I am totally hooked. I love these paints. I love the gorgeous colors and how they layer upon each other. Um, and this was with the house paint as the background, so it produced a ton of pearls, like a pearl explosion. And you can see all those gorgeous colors behind the pearls. I'm loving this one. I kind of think if you turn it this way, let's see, that it looks like, like Italy. <laughs> um, I think you could turn it any which way. I think it would look good this way. I'm kind of preferring it this way, but I don't think it really matters. I think it could go either which way you want. So that's it. Um, I'm just, I think these paints are gorgeous and I'm definitely going to continue working with them. I hope you enjoyed 
this pour with me and uh, that you'll take a moment to like and subscribe. And most of all, I wish you a very blessed day.